and a very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on tonight's show, especially as we are joined by the absolute legend that is Alan Fletcher, aka Dr. Carl Kennedy. And here is what happened when I caught up with him. Alan, this is great to have you here. Hi, wonderful to be here. Oh, and you've been over for, in England for how long? Well, I arrived in Dublin on February the 23rd and then proceeded a bit of sightseeing straight into the Neighbours Celebration Tour, which we did from March 1 to March 23, 15 smash shows. You went to the Palladium. Three times. Just a lazy oh, three times. Um, we played what a venue. It's incredible. Did you get uh, a photo? In the we did, we did, I did a photo in the mirror. Yeah, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Uh, we played to 32,000 people for that tour and we met personally 3,000 of them oh, face to face. So it was really, really beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Because, I mean, you have played Carl Kennedy for, is it over 27 years? Uh, yes, just a little tad over. Wow, that's incredible. I can actually remember coming home from school and my mum saying, you're not allowed to watch Neighbours until you've done your homework. So <laughs> be like, OK, I do maths and science, I hate it, but I'll do it just so I can watch Neighbours. Well, in the early days, apparently, they only showed Neighbours in the middle of the day, and then the schools begged the BBC to show it later because kids were skiving off school to go and watch Neighbours. So they said, oh, we better put it on later so the kids, <laughs> kids actually go to school. Wow, yeah. love that. Well, we're going to go into um, some of your music today, which is just incredible. We've got all that I can do that we're going to kick off with. I love it. Uh, apparently this is because some people believe they aren't uh, suited to settling down. Is yes. that right? Yeah, I mean, I think there are some people who claim that, uh, you know, that nothing can tie them down, you know, that they're, they're, they're just going to spend their whole life just drifting. And the song ponders what happens when someone comes across something that does tie them down mm -hmm. and it ends up in trouble for them. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Think about that one. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty straightforward uh, country song, really country Americana song, um, following that lovely storytelling aspect that's very, you know, very much part of the tradition. Okay, we're gonna check it out right now. I got myself in a mess tonight. The kind of mess you can't put right. Not the first time. Won't be the last Guess I got good at going wrong Not learning lessons or being strong Best to move along Do it fast I never found a place I couldn't leave But there's always a first time I believe Never thought she'd get her hooks so deep inside of me And it's all that I can do to set her free Never made a bed but a light in a few Left pillows of tears for one or two I've been chased out of every kind of town I'm a fool for love right from the start but I'm the fool who breaks the heart The only rule is never stick around Never found a place I couldn't leave But there's always a first time I believe Never thought I'd hesitate Is it too late for me? It's all that I can do to set her free. Myself in a mess tonight Stayed around instead of taking flight Did the crime, now I'm doing the time She said she'd wait but I told her no The flame's gone out, it's time to go It's nobody's fault, nobody's fault but mine 
I never found a place I couldn't be But there's always a first time I believe I never thought she'd get her hooks so deep inside of me And it's all that I can do to set her free I never thought I'd hesitate Is it too late for me? And it's all that I can do to set it free. And it's all that I can do to set it free. Now I want to talk about your album, The Point. Yeah, thank you. Tell us more about that. Well, The Point is from the, is very much my, the stories of my life. Oh. Um, it, it's, uh, again, Americana, but it, it has a wide variety of styles. I mean, I'm a, a, a great lover of John Prine. Uh, and he was a fantastic musician, and he had a lot of songs that were comedic. He had a lot of songs that were densely you know, meaningful. Um, I have the most, the bulk of my material is very meaningful about my own life, about how I reflect on life, about about my my mum who's passed, about spiritualism, all sorts of themes like that. About marriage, it's about uh, how to maintain relationships. But then we've got a few nice jokey songs in there about, um, you know, I have one that I joke would be my perfect Tinder profile uh, <laughs> and a song about my passion for bed, things like that. So it's quite an eclectic album, um, but very much in the singer-songwriter style. All right, now, is there a favourite on the album, I've got to ask? I think it is the song that I wrote for my mum. It's called Hey You. Mum was a deeply spiritual person and she believed in spiritual healing. She was my spiritual guide for my life. And she always said to me that she'd be guiding me after she'd left. And I hold on to that and uh, I have a picture in my room that I look at every morning. Uh, she's so dear to me. And the song Hey You is, I think for anybody who's lost someone, it's a shout out to those who have gone, basically saying, hey, are you still there in some way, in some manner, shape or form? Oh, it's a beautiful song. We'll check this out and I will see you on the other side. Hey you, haven't seen you for a while And I should take the time to check in Hey you, did you find what you were looking for? A slice of heaven through the door to the other side Hey you, I feel you watching down on me is that just make believe? Are you really there? Take the time to maybe sling me a sign that you're waiting down the line for me to catch up to you. I'm dying to see you again. You're my best friend as a child I miss you You helped me through the years Can you help me now you're not here Oh hey you I feel you watch you down on me But is that just make-believe? Are you really there? Faith is blind I still need Feel a right to be afraid. You didn't have the answers to what life's about. You told me what the question was so I could work it out. Hope I see you waiting down the line when the dark decides to close in. Hey, you, I feel you watching down on me. Is that just me? For a while, 
am I wasting my time? Now, I want to talk about your tour because we're in London today, uh, but you're continuing this tour and then you're coming back later on in the year, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So, we're, we're, after we've played London tonight here at this beautiful Bedford in Ballam, where, of course, a very young Ed Sheeran played, uh, we're heading north. We're playing West York, uh, North Yorkshire right through Selby Settle, and then we, we head across to Newcastle, which would be wonderful. Then we go back to the Midlands and play Worcester and Leamington Spa, Bury, uh, just in, outside Manchester, before we shoot up to Berwick upon tour. I over, keep up with it. Up to Edinburgh, down to Glasgow, down to Liverpool. Do you get a day off? No, there's no days off. No. Special, a special gig in Liverpool before we finish up in Leicester. So we are traversing the country uh, with, with the music. And then I shoot back again in June to do my Dr Carl show and do it all over again. Wow. <laughs> it must be such a buzz, though, when you're on the road and oh, meeting people as well. It's fantastic. People just, just say to me, how, how, don't you get tired of meeting people? And when I meet people, for me, it, it's an honour because it gives me the opportunity to say thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the music. Thank you for supporting my shows. Um, yeah, they're brilliant. Uh, well, we're going to check out a song called, I love this title, by the way, How Good Is Bed? Because that's very relatable for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, tell us more about that song. How Good Is Bed is a song about the fact that uh, no matter where I am, my favourite place in the world is to be in bed. Uh, I mean, you know, I love getting out and doing things, but, you know, get me back to bed. <laughs> Just give me that lie in. That's all I ask for. So it's a bit of a comedic song about the joy of bed. I have, to have this theory that when my alarm goes off, I go, five, four, three, two, one, and then I jump. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I go, really five, works. four, three, two, one, and knock the alarm off the bed stand. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that'd, that'd be a song, wouldn't it? How can you write a wrong song on a Ramsey Street? Neighbours. Be a bunch of, about a bunch of neighbours. Now, this is about my favourite place in the world, and coincidentally and happily, it's also my wife's favourite place in the world. I know not of whom you speak. Crawl by with a fearsome monotony Working to another man's rules Nothing ever changes It's getting on top of me They never teach this stuff in school If you dream big, have heart Listen up and study hard Work till you drop, never stop Go the extra yard You just can't wait to get home To your bed how good is bed? How good is bed? There's no place I'd rather be instead. In a fortress made of pillows, safe in your embrace. The only place I want to be instead is in my bed. Sleep is the most underrated therapy. It's better than Medicinal effect of lying horizontally designed to cure all ills. My somnambulistic tendencies that you ridicule are the only exception to the golden rule. Life is generally better spent in bed. How good is bed? How good is bed? There's no place I'd rather be in sin. You can't sleep, there's copulation. We'll raise another generation. The only This monster has a vulnerability Just hit the snooze Let me sleep How good is Ben? How good is Ben? There's no place I'd rather be instead Spoon him with the sweet lot And nestled in her net There's no place I'd rather be instead Than in your bed
There's always someone better Waiting around the bend There's always someone sweeter To help your hearts to mend And I can be that someone If you just give me a chance I can give you sweetness In a love and dance Won't you come with me On a dance through time You can show me your steps And I can show you mine To appear, you can spend your lifetime drinking on your tears. Sometimes what is perfect isn't perfect at all. Love is like a diamond, it's precious for its flaws. Show me your steps And I can show you mine Join with me In a serenade I will sing your praises Till the end of day Oh please Don't be afraid for some of our lovely viewers. Uh, Becky says, uh, if you weren't a performer, what would you be? Oh, that's an interesting question. I, I studied philosophy at university, oh. so I think I might I might be a philosopher. Uh, in fact, I, I still read philosophy to this day, and one of my favourite philosophers is Elaine de Botton, who's a, a very famous uh, English or British philosopher. So, yeah, I would have been a philosopher, Becky. So when did you get into acting then? I started when I acted. Well, my first play was when I was 12 years old. I went professional at 20 and here I am at 65, 45 years oh, later, amazing. still acting. Look at that, <laughs> uh, and uh, Jan says, oh, what is your favourite thing about England? Oh, 
I talk think about that. I think the favourite thing about England is the English. Good <laughs> answer. You can uh, stay. But also, I love the Welsh, I love the Irish, and I love the Scots you as love the well. Accent. Oh, I, I move around a bit, but my accent fluctuates depending on where I am. If I'm in, in Wales, I might be a little bit soft like that. Or if I'm uh, in Ireland, I mean, might be like that. Uh, if I'm in Northern Ireland, I'll be like that, <laughs> and so forth. But every time I do an accent, people go, "Oh, that's rabbish," because of course. <laughs> Oh, they, they mix them up a bit. I can sort of do an Australian accent. Go on, go on. Oh, no way. I like, everything goes off at the end. Right? Uh, get on you, mate. <laughs> nice on one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shriek roof. Anyway, we're going to go off that. And we're going to go into Fish and Whistle. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is a John... Uh, John Prine song. Yes. Yeah, John Prine was my, my major influence. I heard his music back in the 70s. Um, Fish and Whistle is the very first John Prine song I ever heard. It just made me smile. It's a wonderful, wonderful, whimsical tale. Lately about the people I meet The car wash on the corner And the hole in the street The way my ankles hurt With my shoes on my feet And I'm wondering if I'm gonna see tomorrow Father forgive us For what we must do You forgive us And we'll forgive you We'll forgive each other Till we both turn blue Then we'll whistle and go fishing in hell I was in the army, but I never dug a trench. I used to bust my knuckles on a monkey wrench. I'd go to town and drink and give the girls a pinch, and I don't think they ever really noticed me. Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, and we'll forgive you. Or we'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. The more we still and go fishing in heaven. Oh, fish and whistle. Whistle and fish Eat everything that they put on your dish And when you get through We'll make a big wish That we never have to do this again 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 first job I said thank you and please they made me scrub a parking lot down on my knees then I got fired for being scared of bees and they only gave me 50 cents an hour father forgive us for what we must do you forgive us and we'll forgive you or we'll forgive each other till we both turn blue then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven oh fish and whistle Oh, whistle and fish, eat everything that they put on your dish. When we get through, we'll make a big wish that we never have to do this again, again, again. Oh, Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us and we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle like a fishing in heaven. Whistle and go fishing in heaven We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven Now, we've got some facts about you. Oh, Alan. I'm in trouble now. <laughs> yeah. um, done my research. Um, you can elaborate on these if they are true. Uh, fact number one, uh, you've been asked to do I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. I have been asked to do it in the past, and I, I've, it's never felt right for me. It's never been the right fit for me. I'm... Um, I'm just a little bit wary of eating strange things. I, and also, to be honest with you, I've never really been available. So, so it could happen in the future. Who or not. knows? You never say never in my business. I would say never to that. I can't <laughs> even do one night camping. <laughs> uh, five star hotels only. Uh, fact number 
number two, uh, you once nearly died when filming when Izzy fell overboard. Correct. Yes, this was a terrifying incident. Izzy was, Carl proposed to Izzy. She got so excited she pitched into the water. After they fished her out, I had to dive in and try and rescue her, uh, obviously in a fictional way, but I forgot to take my shoes off. So they filled up with water and every time I went down, I thought, gee, am I going to come up again? And the third time I went down, I thought, I don't know if I am going to come up. So I got a bit flustered, managed to get up, put my hand up in the air and the, the speedboat had to rush out and rescue me. Oh. Mm, a week later, I actually collapsed from a delayed shock to the body and oh. uh, yeah, it was very weird. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good that you're here today. Uh, fact number three, people think you are a real doctor. But, people come up to you and say... But, but I am a real doctor, <laughs> Hayley. He is, Dr. Carl Kennedy. He is, in my head. He is. <laughs> Number four, uh, you think Toby is one of the funniest characters on the street? True, that's absolutely true. Ryan Maloney, I've been working with Ryan Maloney since he was about 14 years of age, 15 years of age, and the great thing about Ryan Maloney as an actor is he's incredibly brave. He will try anything. Oh. And he loves to experiment, and he's very, very funny, and he's very inspirational. So, uh, yeah, a, a joy. He makes me laugh every day. He's one day. of your besties on the show. Yeah, him and Aww. Jackie and Stefan, and yeah, we're all besties, really. We're a big family, but I'm, I'm particularly fond of uh, Ryan and Jackie because I've worked with them for all those yeah, years. Yeah, of course, mm. of course. And so you were only meant to be in Neighbours for a year? That's right, every year. I've, you know what? I've had 28 one year contracts. Really? Yep, that's so it. Did shows? Yeah, if you, you basically if you don't say, if you don't say anything, you just sort of hide away in the corner and they forget you're there. You'll be all right. Good advice. There we go. Uh, we're going to go into a beautiful song now called Leaving. Yeah, this is a song written by well, co-write written with one of my producers, Damien Caffarella. It's a beautiful song. He dreamt it up in a very short space of time. We refined it quite quickly. It's about basically end of life and. Uh, uh, which is, it's a kind of a look at the end of life and saying about acceptance of end of life. Mm.
Alan, I want to keep talking to you, but we're going to go into the last song, which yep. is Lost and Found. Yes. Tell us about this one. OK, so I lose a lot of stuff, Hayley. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a specialist in losing stuff. Insurance companies hate me, which well, is what fine. What kind of things are you losing, though? Well, I, I mean, I once left a camera bag on a, a railway station in Sheffield, oh. thousands of dollars worth of equipment, uh, left that behind when I went to Leeds, things like that. You know, I lose big stuff. I don't lose little things. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm getting better, but that's fine. But the lost and found is a reflection on the fact that it's not just material things we lose. But there's other non-material things mm. we can lose. Yeah, it's a true story. Well, we're going to check that out right now. Uh, but, Alan, we're going to get, leave you to get ready because yes. it's your gig tonight. Thank you, do yeah. Do you have a ritual before the gig? Is there something you need to do beforehand well, or you just chill? No, no, I, I set chill. up. We do a sound check. I love to have, yeah, obviously have a bite to eat. But the thing I, my, my, my thing at gigs is I like to meet people as they come in the door. People, really? find, people find it a bit strange, but I hate to sit in the band room and then come out to a gig. I like to say hello as they come in, welcome them, thank them for coming, and have a bit of a chat about what they, why they're there, sit them down, and then, then I'll jump up and have a play. Do you know what? That is brilliant. You don't often hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know if I do it as a 10,000-seat arena, <laughs> but <laughs> here at the Bedford, it'll work just beautifully. Well, Alan, thank you so much. This has been a dream for me because, like I say, I've watched Neighbours since I was probably about seven, oh, a long time ago. Please. Uh, it's part of my childhood, and uh, you're an absolute legend, so thank you so much. Thank you. It's been it's wonderful to be pleasure. here. Cheers. Huge thank you to Alan Fletcher, uh, a.k.a. Dr Carl Kennedy on Neighbours. Uh, thank you to you at home uh, for supporting the show. It really is much appreciated. Thank you. And a huge thank you to the Bedford. Uh, a real pleasure to be here this evening. Uh, now, I will see you same time, same place next week. I'm Hayley Palmer. Stay safe and I will see you then. Hello, lost and found. Can you lend me a hand? I lost something precious to me I don't understand Maybe I left it on a park bench Maybe on a bus One minute it was here And the next it was lost Oh yes, I guess a description Is really what you need The I am of concern is a memory It had fire in its eyes It dreamed and made plans To lofty heights it aspired And it always took a stand It was the envy of every man The world was its oyster Pearls of wisdom dripped from its lips It was happy, young and popular Oh yes, I guess it was careless To take my eyes off such a bride the price that I paid was wasted time It's the saddest of times When you look back and realize Just what you let slip away Oh, it was in my dreams And when I awoke It was lying next to me Having a smoke It kindly took me back To the place where it all began The place I put it down And when I turned and ran All the other missing bits Were waiting there for me Pride, my honesty, and my empathy. Oh, thank you, lost and found. You helped me so my plight. The item of concern was in plain sight. Oh, yes, I guess a description is really what you need. The item of concern.
was me.